Every time you fill up your car with gas, a portion of what you pay at the pump goes to the federal government. Ever wonder how it's used? The government takes 18.3 cents per gallon of gasoline and 24.3 cents on diesel. It's all part of something called the Highway Trust Fund, and soon Congress will consider the fund's financial future. There are big implications for transportation spending hanging in the balance. Here's why. Since 2008, the Highway Trust Fund has spent more than it takes in, requiring Congress to make up the difference. In 1956, Congress originally established the fund to finance the construction of the interstate highway system, roads that motorists travel from coast to coast. The program is funded primarily by those federal taxes collected on gas and diesel fuels, which in turn is distributed back to the states for transportation projects. In 2015, the fund is projected to spend $52 billion. But not all of that goes towards highways. $8 billion is reserved for mass transit projects, and other funds are used for bike paths, recreational trails, and streetscaping. This year, the fund is expected to raise $39 billion in revenue. That's well short of expenses, resulting in a $13 billion deficit. But by law, the fund is not allowed to run a negative balance. Since 2008, Congress has responded by transferring a total of $62 billion from the general fund just to keep the Highway Trust Fund solvent. Now, Congress is at a fork in the road. Will lawmakers allow this program to spend more than it takes in yet again? Or will they reevaluate the federal government's role in transportation spending and enact reforms? For more on the Highway Trust Fund, head to DailySignal.com.